I'm Tina Service here with Lead Titan, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect Made Central to Go High Level um, for the different triggers that are available in Zapier. Um, this is this video is going to be just on making the connection and putting it over into Go High Level. Okay, so this video is going to be on the lead close instance. So when a lead is closed in, closed inside of Made Central we can push that information over to go high level to be able to market to our closed leads that way so i'm going to start at the beginning um, i'm going to go over here to my zapier account and go to create new zap and in here i'm going to go find my made central uh, connection so we're going to hit made central here the trigger event is going to be the lead is closed. Now, I don't know if you, um, um, uh, we actually close the leads out in Made Central, so that way we push the data over and we don't have to do it inside an automation and go high level. Um, and then what we do is we actually structure our um, marketing campaigns to those closed leads. We don't always know what they closed for, but we are able to market to them and try to get them as current um, as new clients going forward. So that's why that's the reason why I have found closing the lead in Made Central has been beneficial. OK, so we're going to go ahead and hit continue and we're going to test the trigger and this is going to go pull any records that have recently been closed. And then we're going to go ahead and hit continue and then go find the lead connector app in here. I overtyped. Okay, so in here we're going to do add update. And then in the account, we're going to use the one that is for this company. And then we're going to start to connect the fields here. So first name. So again, in here, because it's a lead closed, there's a couple of different things that we're going to do in this video that we haven't done in the other ones. But what I do pull in here is first name, last name, phone number, email, and then we're going to mark the lead as true and not false because we want them to go back to that. So first name, last name, phone number, and email. And if you recall, the reason that we want to bring in phone number and email is because that is how it gets matched on in Go High Level. So it's always going to look for the email first, and then it's going to look for the phone number. So here, mark as lead, we're going to put them yes back to a lead because that is truly what they are. And then the pipeline is going to be made central, and then the stage is lead closed. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and test the step. Once you've finished testing the step, you can go over to your Go High Level account and make sure that it pulled the, the client's information over or the lead's information over. And if you're satisfied with that, you can go ahead and hit publish, and then you will have this Zapier completed. 